Hello everyone, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel and today how to replace the tail light bulb on your Vespa GTS. If you're going to be working on the Vespa, make sure you've got a lovely cup of tea. This is the Vespa GTS model here and this is actually a Vespa GTS 300 and there's a link above now about seven things that I love about my Vespa GTS 300. It's definitely worth checking it out if you're thinking of buying one second hand. Okay, so the tail light bulb that we're gonna be replacing is the one that is permanently on. So as soon as the ignition is on and you're riding, then this light is permanently on. So just put the ignition on here and it is this bulb here that we're gonna be replacing. Now, if you're lucky enough to still have the Vespa GTS original toolbox, you'll be needing the Torx Allen key out of this to remove the rear bulb cluster. If you haven't got one of these, you can just use one of your own, and I'm gonna use my own that I've got here. And you're also gonna need a 12 volt, five watt capless bulb. This is a clear bulb. So the first thing we need to do is just remove this nut here. And as I said earlier, this is a Torx nut. So take your Torx Allen key and then turn it anti-clockwise to remove it. And there's a link above now about the five things that I hate about my Vespa GTS 300. Again, it's definitely worth checking that out if you're thinking of buying one second hand. Okay, so just remove that nut there. And then what you're doing with this bulb cluster housing is you're pulling it downwards and then away from yourself. But don't pull it out too hard because you've got the bulb connection on there and you don't want to damage the wires. So just pull it out gently and just hold it in your hands. Okay, so just turn it around and the things that are holding it in are these two divots here and they sit in those holes in the chassis on the Vespa. And that's what holds it in. That's why you're pulling it down towards the ground and lifting it out. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is just unplug the connector here. You don't have to unplug it if you don't want to, but it just makes it a little bit easier. So just push that button and then unplug the connector. There is a link above now about the fuse box location and how to check the fuses on your Vespa GTS. Okay, to remove the tail light bulb, it's just on a rubber housing here, so just gently wiggle it out towards you. It's got some rubber ribs on it just to hold it in place, so just keep pulling it and wiggling it about, and then eventually it should just pop out. There's no thread on this, you just keep having to wiggle it. And here it comes. And there we go. And the capless bulb is just a push fit. So all you do is literally just pull it out. So just get your fingers on there. And just pull it out. And there we go. Now take your new bulb. This is a 12 volt, five watt capless bulb. Make sure you get the correct one. And then basically you're pushing it into that fitting there. Doesn't matter what way around it goes, makes no difference. Just push it in nice and hard. And then get it back into the bulb cluster housing. Just keep pushing it and wiggling it. It's rubber and quite sticky. Obviously it's meant to be like that to stop any water getting in there. And there we go. Now we just need to get this bulb housing back on. So just plug the connector back in first. There's only one way around that this can go, so you can't get it the wrong way around. And there's a link above now about the battery location and how to check the battery on your Vespa GTS. Now to put the housing back on, you've got to get those two divots there into the holes in the chassis. So just put it a little bit lower and then push it upwards. Then just give it a little tap to get it in. Once you've done that, just push it in gently there and then put the bolt back in. As with any bolts, put it in with your fingers first until it takes the thread. Once it's taken the thread, then use your Torx Allen key to tighten it up, but don't over tighten it. And there's a link above now about how to replace the front indicator bulb on your Vespa GTS. Okay, that's nice and secure. So let's just test that bulb out, turn the ignition on. And there we go, that's all working perfectly. 
If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here for more how to's, helpful tips and life hacks. And if you'd like to select any other videos around here, that would be really cool. And be sure to hit that bell notification tab. <laughs>